Okay, I'm going to show you how to expand a photo, especially if you're trying to get a certain ratio like wide uh, screen 16.9. And we're going to use Genitra Fill on Photoshop, pretty easy. So right here we have a vertical and we're going to make it horizontal. So first thing you're going to do is going to go over to the crop tool right here. And then you're going to actually up here, you're going to look for 16 to 9 ratio. Okay, you're going to put that in there. And I have three different examples I'm going to show you. So right here, we're going to slide up here like that. And you might have to kind of just fine tune it like that. And then I'm going to bring this down here. So right there. Now, if I want to, I can go left or right with this, but I'm going to keep it right in the middle. Now, over here in this empty space right here where there's no photo, I'm going to right click. So that means you need to have right click enable. So right here, right click. And I'm going to look for generative expand. So once I click on that, you're going to see this box. So if I want to put something in there, I can. But generally speaking, if it's just the background, you're going to want to just hit generate, not have anything in there for a prompt. So let's generate this. It takes a little time, depending on how the resolution of your photo, depending on um, your Internet speed, it's going to be faster or slower. Right here, you're going to see three different examples and we can click through there and see if we like one. And so um, this is how you're going to do this with your own photos and it's actually really amazing what photoshop can do almost there right there and here we go so that looks very believable let's look at the other examples that photoshop came up with another one i actually like the second one better and the third one the third one is actually pretty cool too in fact i might go with a third one okay let's open up and look at our other example this one is going to be a little bit more difficult. Again, we went to the crop right here. We're going to make sure we're here at 16.9. Now, you can do any uh, any um, crop that you want. You can change that ratio, anything. But I'm going to take this down again. These are all vertical portraits I'm doing. And right there, I'm going to right-click here, and I'm going to click Generative Expand. Nothing in the prompt. Generate, and we'll see what this one comes up with, okay? I like this shot too. Uh, these are all photos I found on on, on Splash. You can uh, use your own photos, but I just uh, thought these were great examples. So right here at the end, we're going to see this, uh, this is a building. This one's a little bit, doesn't come out as good. So we'll see what AI can do with it. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. That one's kind of suspect right there. I don't know if that looks like anything believable. That one looks slightly more believable. And this one definitely looks more believable. That I'm not so sure about. So AI kind of, it depends, okay? So definitely not as bad. The first time I did this picture, it wasn't so good. Let's look at this black and white. This one came out fairly good. I'm hoping that we get a good ex uh, response with this. 16.9, here we go like this. Black and white. We got the generative expand right there. Nothing in the prompt. Let's see what... Photoshop comes up with on this one. So it's using AI, artificial intelligence, pretty impressive for before to do something like this would have been a lot more difficult. Here we go. Let's see what we get. And so this is something you can use for thumbnails too for Photoshop, okay? So. And then the first, that's the second example. The first example is pretty good. And third example is even better. So that gives you some ideas on how you would do this. And hopefully that's been helpful.